Freak Show. Two days after blowing out the Warriors, the Lakers held on to beat the Suns, which makes it three wins in a row. How about that? It is the team's first winning record after at least two games into the season since December of 2013 when they were 10 and 9. Max, I want to yep. start with you here. Is this Laker team better because of new head coach Luke Walton or because there's no Kobe Bean Bryant? Well, Lou, the answer is because there's no Kobe Bryant, because Luke Walton wouldn't be able to play the kind of basketball he wants were Kobe on the team. Mm -hmm. First, I want to talk about how good the Lakers actually are. They're four and three, but all three of their losses, they were competitive. Even the Thunder, they were close going into the fourth quarter. The Thunder, a more talented team, they won by 17 in the end, I think. But it was a pretty competitive game. through. It was a period, a competitive game through three quarters. And then the Pacers and the Jazz were competitive till the end. And the Pacers and the Jazz are good teams. So this Lakers teams all three of their losses if there's such a thing as quality losses I mean they didn't get blown out and they were all the good teams and yes the Suns aren't very good but the Hawks are pretty good the Rockets are pretty good and they would look better had they played the Lakers from last year because instead of three and three four and three they'd be five and two you know four and two those kind of records um, and then they beat the Warriors like this is I don't think this is a mirage I think the Lakers are just good uh, and better than people even realize when you look closely at it look Kobe Bryant last year, I'm not talking about a one-on-one -on -one skills competition because he could do anything offensively. He's among the most, he's in the argument for most skilled player in the history of American team sports. And he showed that in the last game of the season where he put on a show. But it's not played one-on-one, -on -one, it's played five-on-five -five at a time. There's also a bench, there's locker room chemistry, all that stuff. Um, you, and, and Kobe Bryant, when you consider all of that and his usage rate, it was seventh highest in the NBA last year, and his shooting percentage, his field goal percentage, was the lowest since the merger. He had the lowest field goal percentage since the merger, but the seventh highest rate in the NBA. He was actually the worst player in the history of the NBA last year. No player that bad would ever touch the ball that much. Now, why, why, why did they allow this to happen? The Lakers were tanking. And I talk about this sometimes. I talk about muscular moves, Stephen A. Smith. A muscular move is one move that accomplishes many things at the same time. Belichick did that with that recent trade. Get rid of a malcontent who's not playing the way you want, get a young kid to play, pick up draft picks, get younger, cheaper. It's a muscular move, send a message. AKA boss move. Right, it's a muscular move. Lots of different things he does at the same time. What did the Lakers do? They give Con Kobe the new contract, bring in Byron Scott to babysit Kobe. Now they're going to be terrible because they're going to play a kind of schizophrenic game with young kids who want to play fast, old guy who wants to play slow. So the fans get Kobe, Kobe gets his coach, the Lakers get their draft picks, everyone wins. It was a really smart muscular play by the Lakers. It worked. But Luke Walton is only able to make them good and coach this way because Kobe is no longer on the team. You're wrong. Number one, and number two, you are so disrespectful. I mean, let me tell you something, call man. call it how no, it no, is. No, 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 no. No, you're not calling it how it Just is. Just how calling, it is. You're calling it how you think it is, and I will give you credit for that because you did radio in Los Angeles, and you drank that Kool-Aid that they wanted everybody to drink, and I respect that. But here's the they deal. They wanted everyone to drink Kobe Kool-Aid. Here, here's the deal. Kobe was awful last year. In terms of statistically, nobody's knocking that. The two, the two previous years, he combined to play 41 games, coming back from the Achilles, coming back from the knee injury out thereafter. The last time Kobe Bryant was healthy was the 2012-2013 season when he got hurt in that second to last game and still came near with the Achilles tear and still dropped. He those willed them into the playoffs that year. Stay with me. That's the last time he was great. There. He dropped 27. He averaged 46% shooting from the field. He averaged 27 that, game, that season, I'm sorry. I get all of that. Let's highlight and dissect what transpired prior to that. That's what you're neglecting here. That same season, Mike D'Antoni was the coach. If you recall that last month, Kobe Bryant was run into the ground. He played 78 games that year. He was averaging better than 45 minutes a game. And Mike D'Antoni, you know, who should be called Mike Antoni, was like, what do you want me to do? There's no, D. Do. Yeah. no D whatsoever, okay? So let's analyze that. What happened? Mike D'Antoni was the coach. Dwight Howard was there. Dwight Howard wanted Phil Jackson. Mr. Jerem, you know, uh, you know, Jim Buss is like, nah, nah. He sat up there, went with Mitch Kupchak, went to Phil's house, you know, on, you know, a few days before, gave them until Sunday night, gave them until Monday morning to make a decision. And when Phil was in the throes of making a decision to return to the Los Angeles Lakers, 
Like a thief in the night, Jim Buss went and hired Mike D'Antoni to be the coach that for the Los Angeles. It, last it year. has everything. Let me explain. Because what happened is that's where the precipitous fall took place. So everything that you exposed Kobe to, what did he have to work with? Now, see, when I, that's how I look at it. As a basketball player at his age, with the level of attrition that was that he had to endure, you're giving him that to work with. You clearly made the decision. We're not going anywhere. We're essentially tanking season. Let's protect we want to use yep. you. We want to protect our pick. We want to use you to lure people through the turnstiles. They used Kobe Bryant as a prop. Well, well, that's, well, well, yes, well. Yeah, I, I, that's put a, a mischaracterization. I'm sorry. And, I, and, I, and in fairness to the Lakers, I am sure they would adamantly agree with you. I would adamantly tell them to their face, I don't give a damn. No, they no, know no. exactly no, where no, I no, stand. No, no. I have said hold this on, about on, the Lakers on many occasions, hold on, hold on. Max. It's not, occasions. That, it's not that you're wrong that they use Kobe to get through it, but, but it's Kobe. Use it. Kobe was not going to play till he got his new contract, Stephen A. He got the new contract. He miraculously showed up on t the court. He, they extended him two seasons because that's what he wanted Wait and that's minute. what the fans Wait wanted. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He wanted it and the fans wanted it because the fans looked at the landscape and said, what the hell else do we have? Number one. That's a, hold wait, on, wait. hold on, Max. You, it's true. You, you, went, you went past this D'Antoni thing. Kobe, D'Antoni system wasn't working with the Lakers because Kobe wasn't going to buy in. Kobe staged a mutiny that season and then took over the offense, played it the way he wanted to do it, and willed and played the I'm Lakers not, into not, the and, playoffs. And, and see, the problem is that's you're not listening. Why, you're that's not listening. why he got hurt. He you're, played no, himself no, no, no. 47 no, minutes no, a game. No, Kobe. No, 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 Max. The fact of the matter is Kobe took that position because of what he saw around him. The, the, the point is, if you are a – this is basketball, bro. If you step on a court, you know what you have and what you don't have with you. And so you're saying we're going to lose anyway. I'll be damned if I'm going to sit here losing and not get my money while I'm being exposed to playing with the dudes sure. I'm playing with. I'm not. They got that's they, what the Lakers they, wanted. They went out and got Roy Hibbert, dog. Yeah. Roy Hibbert. The Lakers want, hold on. Look, look, the Lakers man, wanted what they to did. do that hold on, hold on, so they on, could protect on, on, their draft I'm pick. I'm trying to get to a because point. Because it was only a top Max, three I let you go. Pick. I let you go. I'm talking basketball here. Go, I'm, go giving you go. I'm giving you facts. All of this stuff happened. So if you are Kobe Bryant, you're saying this is what my situation was. You're making the argument that if I'm playing with Luke Walton, oh, you know what? You can never do what we're seeing the Lakers do right. in the first seven games. I'm saying to you, if you're Kobe and you're saying, I got this dude who can coach. And oh, by the way, we're literally trying to build something here. Kobe would not sabotage that. It's he's not, not going to. It's not an issue of Kobe. It's not an issue of Kobe. He's not built that no, way. I agree. It's not an issue of Kobe consciously <laughs> sabotaging. It's an issue of the fact that Kobe Bryant is a scorer. That's what he is. It's like saying it's like saying a shark is wrong to eat a fish. I watched you know, Kobe Bryant play point. Does. That's Have what Kobe does. Have you not watched does. Kobe Bryant play Kobe, point when he, he had to play point? He does, but still the usage it, rate is high. The ball has to be in his hands constantly, and they wouldn't be able to play this way. They couldn't play up tempo. They couldn't spread the ball around to the extent that they do. The ball would stick with Kobe, and this wouldn't work. It's not Kobe it's, thinking I'm going to undermine the team. It's who he is. He's an ISO player from a previous those generation. Those guys weren't developed. You got Swaggy P and 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 and, 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 and you know Nick Hide Young and phone. these boys. They're literally going like this. Yo, they're celebrating after losing 15 straight games. They're good they're this year, Stephen. There, no, 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 now, but right. what I'm saying, Be no, no, no. What I'm saying to you is, if Kobe were playing with Duke that had the right mentality with an organization that clearly made the right decision in hiring Luke Walton. They clearly sure. made the right decision. But if that was something that happened earlier while Kobe was there, I am simply making the case Kobe Bryant would not have sabotaged that. This is he what would I'm not saying. have done that. This is what I'm That's saying. not him. He's if not built that way. If your argument is that the Lakers wanted to be bad while Kobe drew fans in, I would argue that the, is. the hey, answer hey, hey. is yes. But Kobe also knew they were going to be fans and he was gonna, they were going to be bad and he was going to be used right. in that way. And he went along with it too. And no, this team would not be four and three if Kobe was around Charleston, right now. Charleston, are we not entertained? Yeah!